Yeah, this morning it's a great question because many of us have already reached for that uh, furnace, if you will, for the first time this year. So it's all about the indoor humidity levels, and it is actually really important. So this is from Mel. What should the indoor humidity be when our furnace is on and running? So let's take a look at why this is so important. So during the winter, you could have plenty of humidity outside. Here's an example of the outside air, 12 degrees in relative humidity of 56%. But when you pull that in and you heat it inside your home, of course, you're going to take away a lot of that moisture because you're heating the air. That could go down to as low as 28% humidity. And there are some, you know, consequences to low humidity in your house. For one, it supports viruses, bacteria. That's why we often get sick in the winter months, respiratory infections. However, if it's too humid, if you've got that humidifier on full blast, you can create mold, bacteria, and also uh, aggravate your allergies and asthma. Where do you want it to be? Between 40 and 60%. That's the perfect range for indoor humidity. Not only will you uh, bolster up your immunity and also your respiratory defenses as well, but you're also going to save a lot of your furniture. Wood furniture does not like dry conditions, that's for sure. You can